Hello and welcome in another episode of Deray Valley, where I'm doing my best to drive virtual locomotives without causing major disaster. Or do I? Anyway, before we begin, I'd like to remind you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and follow up with bell button to turn on the notifications and stay up to date with my latest content. So, in today's episode, we are going to continue from where we left off last time. So as you probably remember, we arrived at Machine Factory and Town, which you should see on your screens right now. I'm back at the station office once more, and for today's episode I thought, well, we need to do something something different. Yeah, uh, I, I wanted to, to give you some, some sort of information that you might find useful during your gameplay. Obviously I'm, I'm discovering the game myself, so uh, I will make mistakes and some of the information I give you will definitely require some testing from yourself or practice eventually, because I'm, I might have came up with, with the idea how to make things better, more efficient or like cheese some game me mechanics, but I might not gave it enough testing uh, before. However, I'm trying to, to give you some sort of idea of which direction you might want to go for in your gameplay, or at least do something funny and, and fail in the process, which, which will make the video more attractive and get more clicks and views, haha. <laughs> okay, anyway. Right, so I managed to line up uh, all the jobs that we got available on this station that I can accept. Which is pretty much six. Uh, without one that requires hazmat license that is super expensive and doesn't really pay right uh, so uh, I got only one shunting job uh, which I'm really tempted to complete uh, because I think I figured out how to make this thing actually pay uh, we are on quite easy station though uh, so uh, it will definitely take much longer on uh, um, on different station than it will take on our station. So what we need to do is unload the wagons that we brought in the previous episode. So they are here. Uh, it's oh, uh, it's quite easy to, to find them out. Yeah. So those are these wagons. Uh, we pretty much remember where we found them. And there is a tip uh, for, for everyone. If, if you are doing uh, pre-job scouting uh, to, to find out where things are, so you can, for example, line up your locomotive or build the consist before you, you accept the job to, to, get, uh, to get the most of, of that time limit uh, that will eventually um, give you that bonus. Uh, there's not much information on the card itself that you may stick to in order to, to actually find the job. Uh, so let's have a look at all the things that, that we can check on, on this card and how can we find those wagons. So every single wagon that is on the siding has its own details like wagon number, type of car, its total mass and length. There's also uh, health points of vehicle and the job that this uh, wagon is associated with. And that is pretty much the enough information that, that we actually need. Because if you think about it, well, this wagon is associated with a job MFSU25, which is exactly the card that, that we are holding in our hands. This was very easy to find though. Uh, obviously, if the wagon has any cargo, there is also cargo HP, and uh, type of cargo and total mass of the cargo. But, well, we are not interested in that yet. Uh, it might be useful to, to judge what's the total mass of your train, even though you don't have to do that because it's on the cart right in front of our faces. Yeah? And there is that section train mass and it tells that entire consist will weight 364 tons and it will have 140 meters of length so uh, eventually all that information is provided to us on the job card so things that we are interested is 
uh, that job name so we can easily find uh, our wagons uh, another thing that you need to bear in mind is that sometimes as you've probably noticed uh, from my previous shunting job that I did two days ago I think uh, you might you may find your wagons in different uh, sidings and that makes things a little bit uh, more complicated however we are still gaining that time bonus even though we are effectively right now wasting a lot of uh, of that time uh, we could eventually do uh, like lining up right now which is exactly what i'm gonna do to to save myself oops uh, that two or three minutes of time um, which will eventually pay us out in in that extra two grand that we are going to make from this job so i'm not going to accept this job yet uh, but i will take it with me let me just start my locomotive and following your requests i'm gonna turn on uh, the cab light so you can see all the clocks uh, I will turn on the reverser, check what's behind me, sound the horn, and obviously release the brake. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we are rolling. Uh, now we might want to find a station map, because that is another thing that is very useful to us. So this is a uh, factory overview which is the station we are at and we need to pick up those wagons from uh, siding C where we left it there is also another siding called siding B which is a well what is that you say well that is transfer yard so I would expect to, to find a wagons that are going outbound from the station on these sidings uh, so we can pretty much see what's on which siding and try to predict where we need to leave our things just bear in mind those tips that i'm giving you are not 100 percent accurate and some things may vary but you may plan your route you may do the switches up front which will save you those precious seconds and it will definitely allow you to to go a little bit slower on uh, on the yard which will benefit you in the form of actual um, clean uh, income uh, without any any penalties without any extra costs uh, which will definitely uh, be useful to us and that's exactly what we want uh, especially that again I'm gonna repeat myself we are playing on hardcore so all these jobs are pretty much paying us very little to, to nothing uh, and while we are on, on a pretty small station that, uh, that is making things a little bit easier to, to do them right on time, uh, it would be definitely easier if we can pretty much finish our job before we even start it. Right, let me just do that switch uh, this way. Right, reverser is on the front, we can release the brake and we can now go on ahead and we should end up on on the siding rack right next to our wagons because that's exactly what uh, what we got set up last night or uh, yesterday so we are now rolling that's good I can put a little bit more uh, throttle to, to bring our car into speed we don't need to rush we can we can pretty much uh, do our job at this point uh, without any time limits uh, so so you can take your your time every single second that you are wasting now that's pretty much a second that you are saving to actually benefit to this task even though there's 36 minutes to complete it so unless uh, I'm gonna be asked to, to get this cargo somewhere there uh, I should be pretty much okay okay so we are now entering this yard uh, we got 20 km per hour speed at this moment and I should 
pass next to those wagons on the left because that's the sightings I said last time. Uh, remember to, to always uh, set your sightings so that you can move around the station freely uh, unless you want to crash in, into one of those wagons. And I think those tankers have uh, some fuel in them so, so definitely you don't want to crash into them <laughs> too hard. Anyway, uh, let's let's get to, to the other side of this siding and let's pick up our wagons. Oh, we are going a bit fast. Okay, we should be all right. Can now flick this one, and we are pretty much okay to to reverse. Well, we need to do it a bit slower than usual. Oh, 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 oh! Wrong one. Yeah, that is not the right one. Yeah, I definitely went the wrong way. Silly me. Okay, let's fix our error at at once. Right, so that's the switch I, I was supposed to click and this one is the switch that I need in the previous position. That is set correctly. Okay, uh, definitely that's, uh, that's, yeah. That thing shouldn't be here. Let me just take a screenshot to send it to developers. There we go. And now we can get back to, to our locomotive. Right, let's release the brakes. And turn on the reverser. And get on the accelerator. Right, we are going on a fast side and I don't want to smack into those wagons. Because you still have to pay the cost if you damage uh, anything on, on the yard even if I'm not uh, doing any sort of task right now. So you need to bear that in mind. Uh, that anything that is happening on the yard is on your name. There we go. Five kilometers per hour. So we should pretty much be okay with the speed even if we uh, crash into those uh, cars behind us uh, the train should just stop without yeah without causing any damage let's engage the brakes so so our local won't move uh, from the wagons and now we can freely connect them there we go let's pump up the air and now the wagons have their brakes disengaged we need to remember that because I just used um, locomotive brake. So let's release that brake. Let's give a little bit of a time for the brake pipe to fill. Okay, normally on the yard you would also check uh, the brake pressure on, on each wagon, at least uh, from, from what I found out recently on while watching streams of, uh, of Bolt or Nico. I think there were quite a few people that were associated with railways. They, they mentioned that this is part of the safety uh, like a procedure that you need to pretty much uh, perform like a safety, safety check or brake test uh, for every single wagon that, that you are plugging onto your, well, into your consist uh, to be able to, to tell if, if the train will have functional brakes. Uh, but yeah, those are things that, that you will find uh, eventually while talking with, with people in the community. Some of them have really, really vast knowledge about that. And speaking of, uh, of bolts, uh, the railway dog or uh, Nico, I will uh, link their accounts in the description down below of this video so you can check them out yourself. Uh, I strongly recommend doing that. Their streams are really, really fun and entertaining 
so definitely worth watching uh, I've spent like eight hours today <laughs> uh, watching uh, watching bolts uh, doing fun stuff with a steam locomotive uh, he didn't crash <laughs> anyway uh, it was really really fun uh, to, to watch his streams and I strongly recommend you to um, to jump in and and check out his his channel right uh, so now we need to switch this one and get into this siding and the question is why would I get into this siding well the answer is simple because there is loader unloader machine and it is very likely that this siding will be used uh, during this task to load or unload this consist and it actually makes sense because uh, where is that oh my goodness I, I left it in the locomotive I think yeah and according to the station map which you can find here there's pretty much no other siding that that we can use siding B doesn't have any of these machines siding D is a passenger station uh, which is not used to load or unload cargo and siding E is military base which you have no access to at least not at the moment unless you have a license uh, I don't so I can't get there and I still need to perform that task so that leaves me uh, by the process of elimination that uh, this siding 6s on transfer the art is it no uh, on loading yard. so that's gonna be uh, siding uh, or no that that's gonna be 1l there we go 1L for loading uh, so so it's self um, self description uh, it is going to be used during that task so we've already cut all that time that I've spent explaining things and, and moving around the yard uh, we've pretty much oops, uh, I forgot about the brakes uh, we pretty much saved all that time already by performing these tasks up front uh, and the question is uh, is it going to affect the job itself no it isn't that's the fun part about it uh, so when we get this paper into into job validator it will act normally it will still think that uh, that those cars are on the previous siding which was uh, can't remember which number was it I think it was 3i is it uh, and, and the paper will guide us to take this consist to this siding 1L which we are already entering so all that saved time is going to greatly benefit us right let me just let the train go on its own so that we won't crash and we can now engage the brakes I'm, I'm braking pretty harsh but well we should be a okay come on let's bring this bad boy to a stop there we go right we can oh right I, I wanted a reverse in neutral position we can engage train brake and uh, well independent brake and release the train brake so that the cargo won't roll out right so as we we won't be spending that much time so now let's verify if we were right so let's accept the job Oop. catch it and yes this is shunting job couple uh, c31 or c3i which is uh, which was this siding yes so c3i yes uh, we just took that take it to c1l there we go we've already done that and then oh and then we need to split our train so we need to put uh, platforms in in one siding oh we need to put certain wagons in one siding two platforms in one siding okay so we need to split this consist 
So we will deal with that when we unload the train. However, we've already saved a lot of time because all that is now done. So now let's have a look what we need to do now. C2S, that's where we need to be and where we are, 2S. Okay, so we need to pretty much move to, to the siding right next to us and leave a couple of platforms there. Not a big deal, if you ask me. So let's release the brakes and let's go ahead. Uh, we've already cut significant portion of time out of our task, which is going to make things much, much easier. It doesn't mean that it's gonna help you fulfill the task at, at an instant, because when we took this shunting job, it already told us that we are going to spend over half an hour uh, sorting things out. And yes, that is true. Uh, that is exactly true. Uh, but we've now made this task much, much easier than, uh, than it actually is. Unless uh, the wagons that we need to leave on, on this siding uh, are not at, at the rear of the train, which, which might be a thing. But, well, we are going to verify it really, really soon. Uh, yeah, the train should now be A-OK. -okay. We can now break. Okay, let's release the brakes and as we are going to change the switch, we can verify where our wagons are. 398, no. So that's going to be, yeah, 839, uh, 523, 345, 945 and 411. So those are last wagons. Very, very good. So we need to get onto this siding. We went a little bit too far, but that is not a big deal. Let's release that brake. Uh, reverser is in reverse already. And now we can start reversing into the right siding. Okay. We are rolling. Unfortunately, we can't use the technique that I've been showing you last time. Uh, at least not now, because there's very little of space on, on this siding. Though precision will matter more than, uh, than speed right now. Ooh, and we got another uh, rogue uh, signpost that is going to cut through our train. Right. 5 kilometers per hour, we are approaching uh, that consist on the back with the right speed. We need to uh, pretty much connect our consist into that consist, at least for a few seconds to, to release the brakes in, in the rear consist. I will show you that in a second. I will just give it a touch on the brakes to get us below 5 kilometers per hour. And now let's wait until the consist, yeah will stop. Good. So now we can engage the train brake and get in here to connect both consists. Where is that? That is this one. Right. So we don't need to connect them both. Or do we? Let us check how much space we got. We don't have much space. Uh, so I don't want to take risk that this thing won't be able to break on time. Where is the wagon that I need to connect? Um, it is somewhere here though. 523, no, that's, that's my wagon. 945, uh, that should be not... 411, there we go, that's the one. Right. So if, if this siding would be a little bit longer, oh, I just uh, engaged the brakes on, on this consist. Right. Uh, if, if this consist would be shorter, 
I would have used uh, the old technique that involves uh, uncoupling this train in here. I technically still can do, if you think about it, uh, we might eventually check it. So, if I close this valve right now, I can either close this valve and leave it like that. Uh, with that prepared, I can just push this consist a little bit. Can I? Can I give it enough of a push? Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Okay, that should be enough. Is it enough? Well, I definitely pushed it uh, far enough to reach the siding, which is good. We can now release the brake. It doesn't matter if these are connected. We can quickly check if they fit. Yeah, they do. Okay, so that is sorted. We can now reverse back out of this siding because we need to fix our position. Uh, where is that jump? So now we need to go to B6S and leave another two wagons in there. Where is B6S, you ask? That is a good question. That is on transfer yard. Okay, so we need to go a bit further than we are. Because in order to get to transfer yard, we need to get on this truck. Let's get there. Turn the reverser right now. We need to wait until the train crawls into this junction. Okay. Yeah, that that hard braking might not exactly be a good thing, but we are not using that much resources, so we can now change all the switches so that we can push these wagons onto this siding. And in that case, we can eventually again use our method. So let's first close the valves, disconnect this, and hang the hook. And now all we have to do is to release local brake and give and give those wagons a gentle push. And with that done, we can now focus on pushing the last wagon onto the siding. B1S, B1S, and where is that? So B1S is on the other side. Okay. So we need to change. Come on, come on. Uh, go, go faster, go faster. Definitely need you to go faster. So we can switch this one. And B1S is behind those tankers. So we need to be careful on that one. This will roll in. Hopefully, I won't have to fix my job. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Hopefully, I won't have to fix it. But now, I can take a risk. I know it's not the safest way to do so. Uh, but, again... It is so much fun. So I can give this wagon a push and it's rolling. In the meantime, I can make sure that these guys will just stop where they have to stop. About this guy, 
Well, it is definitely rolling. <laughs> I mean, I'm really happy that, that the jab is going on its own. I can now turn off the local. I probably won't need it. And yeah, and that is the jab done. I just need to make sure that this wagon will stop at the right siding. Come on you, I, I just really need to start pushing those wagons faster. Oh well. Come on, come on, I need these switches to be sorted. There you go. There you go. You can do it. I, I can switch this one so I always have a clear passage. This thing is rolling. Remember that's that's not the way you should always be carrying on uh, with those tasks. And we could technically leave that wagon rolling. But I really want to make sure that it's going to stop where I want it to. So when you open that valve, it will stop and won't hit that uh, other count system. So right now, we are ready to hand our job back. And 36 minute task has been completed in just 12 minutes. So that is a massive success can now take our money there we go and let's check how much do we have to pay so it is gonna cost us around a thousand dollars to actually uh, pay for the costs of servicing of our locomotive bear in mind it was fully serviced and all the fees were paid if I remember correctly when we began our today's uh, journey so um, I have to admit it was a very successful run and that's the way to do it uh, proper scouting checking which task uh, is related to uh, to what and eventually you can cut a lot of uh, extra time uh, which will eventually uh, turn this uh, dreadful um, 36 minutes task into 12 minutes uh, walk in the park because that was pretty simple isn't it and it was really fun <laughs> providing that uh, that we didn't even had to do all that reversing back and forth we just pushed uh, two sets of wagons they, they pretty much parked themselves uh, where we wanted them to uh, so that was quite easy money I'm not going to lie and we need to keep practicing or at least I need to keep practicing that um, that way of doing things I don't even need to service my locomotive so now what I could do uh, I could follow up with another task uh, obviously uh, I won't be making it into this episode uh, because it would take way too much time uh, obviously we have now generated uh, some more tasks so we got log a logistical uh, hall into harbor and town and logistical hall into sawmill uh, and that is mostly because those two wagons that we just parked might be blocked by something else same goes to those five wagons that are definitely attached to other consist uh, this one again harbor and town uh, but if we would get uh, concurrent jabs, they are probably going to the similar place. Uh, if we would scout those, we can connect all uh, that long consist that we've just created, haul it uh, back to harbor and town, and get a grand total of uh, just short of uh, 12,000, or carrying like um, empty cars. Or we can go for a long route and get those excavators that are parked on siding C, I think, and and bring them to uh, Iron Ore Mine East, which is all the way down in the northeast. Uh, so that is a pretty pretty nice route, but it's mostly uphill, so it's it's not that easy as it sounds. 
even though the train mass is quite light. Anyway, uh, I hope you, you learned something from this episode. I hope you got general idea of how to do uh, scouting for, for your wagons, how to assemble your uh, your consist and based on information that the card is providing you. For example, we don't have any more shunting jabs. We do. Uh, if shunting jabs says unload or load, pretty much it is on the same siding. Uh, because at this moment developers haven't thought that you might need to load part of this consist in, in one siding then uh, load the other parts in, in the other part of, of the siding so we don't have that yet in the game and maybe it will make it uh, its way to, to the game maybe it won't but for now we can benefit from that fact and we can pretty much complete half of the job before we will even officially begin it uh, so hopefully that will make the shunting jobs more uh, beneficial and and uh, easier for for everyone so thank you very much for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to get informed about my new uploads hit that notification bell button and don't forget to share your comments down below have a great day and see you all later latter out